showcase a different kind of craft this week, and that's gonna be crocheting. It is real hot. I was scrolling through Instagram, and I noticed there are a ton of knit and crochet style clothing coming back. I picked up this squishy yarn from Michaels a couple weeks ago, and I'm gonna finally attempt to make something with it. The supplies I'm using today are the medium weight yarn and a four millimeter crochet hook. And that's all you need. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. What are you doing? I'm gonna create a slip knot. I've got my one on the hook and I'm going to chain six. One. So I've got my six, I'm gonna chain two, and I'm going to go back into the second, second loop from the hook, and single crochet. I'm gonna chain two and turn my work. Now I'm just gonna be front posting all along the row until I reach the end. We're gonna go into our first chain and pop out the other end. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Chain two and turn. And you're just gonna continue this pattern until the band is long enough to wrap around your waist pretty snug. And I'll meet you back when the band is finished. So now that I've finished my entire band, it's time to start the body. So here's where I've left off on my last row. I'm going to chain one, and now I'm gonna be working sideways along the piece to create the entire body section. And the body piece consists of a half double crochet and a single. So we're gonna yarn over. Insert our hook, pull through, and pull through one, two, three. And then a single. So a half double crochet, you begin by yarning over, insert, pull through, and then pull through all three. And then a single. As you get close to the end of the row, you wanna to try to end on a single. That way when you start your next row, you can begin that on a double and they'll alternate.
here's my double, my half double, and then my last is on a single. You're going to chain one. You're going to begin a double, a half double crochet. And then into your single. half double, single, and again you're just repeating this pattern all the way to the end of the row. And I'm just going to be repeating this pattern until the top is as long as I want it to be. So I'll meet you back here when I have more rows. Now that I have the body piece all finished, we're going to tie off this loose end here. So now I'm going to stitch the side together to make it one entire tube top. I'm going to start at the corner. And I'm going to single crochet all the way down the edge. Now I'm just going to pull the loose ends through and tie a knot. And now we're going to get to work on our top band. So originally I wanted to make a top band that would fit on the top of the bust, but I've run out of yarn. So I'm going to makeshift the rest of the bandeau. I'm going to use some round elastic to cinch in the top of the bust. So I've just wrapped this piece of elastic snugly around the top of my bust and I'm going to tie it into a knot. And now our last step is to attach the elastic to the top of the tube top. Get my yarn and pull it through and tie off a knot. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm just going to half double crochet all along the top with the elastic sandwiched in between. And now when I pull on the elastic, it's going to cinch in against the body. Tie it off. And I'm just going to weave in the end so that it's not showing. Analyze it. It's black and white I'm up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name 
Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. Yeah.